Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Panamsen Explain podcast, where we delve into the fascinating world of machine learning and technology. Today, we are going to talk about Open Large Language Model, LLM, a leaderboard by Hugging Face, a platform that has been instrumental in advancing and democratizing artificial intelligence through open source and open science. The Open LLM leaderboard is a public platform that compares open access large language uh, models. So it's a wrapper running uh, the open source benchmarking library, uh, Auditor AI LM Evaluation Harness, created by Auditor AI Nonprofit AI Research Lab, known for creating the pile, uh, training models like GPT-J, GPT-Neo, X, uh, 20 uh, billion, and Pythia. So the leaderboard runs evaluation using uh, Auditor AI Harness, on sparse cycle of hugging face compute cluster. So, and store the result in data set uh, on the hub that are then displayed on the leaderboard online space. Uh, it's a fascinating project that has sparked interesting discussion in the AI community, especially around the evaluation of this uh, large language model. One such uh, discussion uh, arose uh, following the release of Falcon, a large language model uh, and its uh, addition to the Open LLM leaderboard. Uh, the discussion centered around the benchmark uh, for measuring massive multitask language understanding, so MMLU. So the community uh, was uh, surprised that MMLU evaluation number of the current top models on the leaderboard, uh, the LLM model, were significantly lower than the numbers in the published LLMA papers. So yeah, this uh, discrepancy led to a deep dive into the evaluation process and uh, the way this model are actually tested. So MMLU is multi-choice question test covering 57 general uh, knowledge domains grouped in categories like uh, humanities, social science, uh, STEM, etc. So for each question, only one of provided answer is the correct one. And large language models take a string of text as input, generate a distribution of probabilities for the next token, and use these probabilities to choose a token, uh, creating a sentence as a continuation of the input prompt. So uh, there are two main ways to get information out of a model to evaluate it getting the probability that some specific tokens group are continuously uh, of the prompt and uh, comparing these probabilities together uh, for uh, our predefined possible choices or getting a text generation from the model and comparing this text generation to the text of various uh, predefined possible choices. So, however, the evaluation process is not without its challenges. So, the same data set can yield different absolute score and model ranking depending on the evaluation method used. So this discrepancy can be attributed to minute details such as prompt and tokenization. For instance, the original MLU uh, implementation uh, compares the probability of the following uh, letters uh, answers, why uh, Auditor AI LM harness compares the probability of the following full answer. So this highlights the importance of open uh, standardized and uh, reproducibility benchmark uh, such as uh, Auditor AI or uh, Stanford uh, Helm. Without uh, them uh, comparing results uh, across model and papers uh, would be really impossible. So uh, stiffing research on uh, improving LLMs. So uh, in conclusion, the open LLM leaderboard is a powerful tool for AI community, providing a platform for comparing and evaluating uh, models. However, it also highlights the complexity and challenges of uh, evaluation these models for uh, emphasizing the need for standardization and reproducibility of those benchmarks. So as the uh, field of AI continues to evolve, so too will the methods and tools we use to measure and understand it. So, uh, yeah, let's look uh, what we have in the leaderboard at the bottom. So, 
bottom we have yeah benchmark uh, benchmark of 25 and yeah so those are some models gpt for example uh cerebras and so on so you can use it so most of them uh, are probably all are open source and also uh, most of them are hosted on hugging face so you can uh, on some spaces also play and today uh, meta introduced uh, llma2 model so currently llma2 uh, yeah is ranked second so uh, yeah today mm, llma2 70 billion parameter uh, was released and yeah it's second uh, and if you click so you can get access to uh, this uh, model mm, i think you need to agree with the policy uh, and you have access so i did it uh, previously so i don't know whether i have already access to this model or no uh, it's also possible to uh, download uh, the model uh, from the uh, AI meta platform so yeah so I requested so probably we'll soon uh, get uh, hands on uh, this model as well and yeah so basically <laughs> currently uh, meta model uh, is beaten by uh, upstage LMA 30 billion uh, instruct so uh, yeah also uh, here's model uh, for text generation uh, using PyTorch and uh, available on Hugging Space. So, uh, yeah, so I think both were uploaded quite recently. So, for example, uh, this uh, Meta LLMA model was uh, updated and uploaded here uh, just 23 hours ago. So, it's really recently uh, updates. And yeah, it's a really great tour, tool to compare all models so average yeah we can see it's 66.8 but for example if we compare on uh, multitask LMU so it's yeah so we can see that uh, meta LLMA2 model is top one in this particular uh, category and with truthfulness, so uh, how true uh, the uh, answers are, so just 45. So it's also uh, interesting that uh, different models yield a different result. And for example, uh, for this mentioned previously, MMLU task, uh, meta model, <laughs> this was released today, is uh, top one so yeah uh, you can play it uh, and also we will cover uh, topics about uh, hugging uh, faces and how to access uh, models directly in uh, python using transformer so uh, that's it for today episode of van amsen explain podcast uh, we hope uh, you found this uh, discussion enlightening and we look forward to bring you more insights into the world of machine learning and technology in our future episodes. See you next time.